learning rules. Um, this is uh, what I like to discuss in my talk uh, for materials properties and functions and creating materials maps. Now, considering the about 100 atoms of the periodic table of the elements and all possibilities of mixing these atoms and all possible structures and unit cell sizes implies that the uh, number of all possible materials is practically infinite. Um, this implies that uh, it's very likely that materials exist that we don't know so far and that have novel properties or that have a performance in their function that is better than that of materials of the materials we know to date. Or it may be that some known materials have properties that have not been recognized so far. And the question is, how can we find these exceptional materials? And that, of course, is also the question, I think, of materials square. 